Hello, this is Matt and the zero installment of explaining Rust Analyzer series, where we try to understand how Rust Analyzer works, uh, one subsystem at a time. Uh, previous time we tried to do a test run to figure out if uh, something goes wrong, and it turned out that something did in fact go wrong. Specifically, I was only recording one part of my screen. So this is the second attempt at producing a test video. Hopefully, uh, this time uh, it will be better. Uh, we will continue uh, with uh, the work we actually started last time. That is investigation this particular particular performance issue. Yes, this one where our uh, visibility of function in rest analyzer is linear, which might lead to accidentally quadratic behavior. Last time we started looking into that and got distracted uh, by removing an erroneous default implementation from module data structure. So uh, let's go back to rest analyzer. The last pull request is merged, so let's update our tree. Verify that, yes, in fact, uh, the last pull request is uh, what we merged. Then let's rebuild Rasalizer to make sure that we haven't actually introduced any critical bugs at uh, the time. This takes some time, sadly, because compiling Rasalizer in release is not instantaneous, even if you have a pretty powerful CPU. Uh, the one I use has, I think, 12 cores or something. Okay, we don't actually care about uh, this code side of things, and uh, let's start this code. Okay, so uh, last time we, yes, we moved our working progress into uh, fixed result branch, so let's Uh, go back to this branch and we replace it on top of the new master. Okay, so let's also restore to the previous uh, and the kind to see uh, what the current state is. Okay, so we are uh, needs to be reformatted and there is a bug. In our performance, or it sometimes reduces, uh, removes pretty well formatted two states. Anyway, that's very good. Okay, yeah. So we are here. Uh, we have this uh, visibility function, and we want to add a visibility to the mod data. There isn't a visibility here. Before we go, I uh, actually want to check. One thing which we uh, should have checked last time, uh, that after we moved this origin to the new function, we actually no longer write this origin. So let's look at all the usages and verify that all the usages are actually reads. Again, I wish this code actually had an ability to group usages by uh, what is read what is right and what is initialization because usually you have few initializations a little bit more writes and a lot more reads but at the same time when you look at the code most of the time you are interested in how the field is initialized then how it has changed and reads are basically uninterested uh, but now we need to just manually uh, look at it yeah so it seems like uh, this one is actually like the only uh, initialization and read, and that means that yes, okay, so we, we refactored uh, the code correctly last time. So uh, now we want to add visibility. I wonder what's the right position for visibility here parent, children, scope, origin. Yeah, kind of like. Hard to say. I guess it makes sense that information about like links to other entities should go last. 
And first should go uh, information about the module uh, itself. one usage uh, this one and yeah uh, can we actually create default visibility here? I don't think so I think we should just pass in visibility and this again I kind of like wish that I wonder why it doesn't make sense that we see this assist here this is a bug so please uh, if you're watching this, uh, go and fix this. That's like uh, auto import assist. Yeah, uh, this thing for some reason behaves and fires here, although there is like nothing to import here. Okay, anyway, uh, what I want to see here is actually an error message and the fix suggesting uh, to me to add this visibility as a parameter. There isn't such fix yet, so we have to do this manually. That's kind of like the set two about building an IDE. If you're building an IDE, there isn't an IDE you can use which actually like works 100% correctly and reliably. It's like really disheartening and depressing. Okay, so now we should get a whole bunch of errors. Empty. Again, seems like... Empty. Uh, I, I wonder what's visibility... What should be the visibility for the empty that map, like the one which is created for root. I think it creates its it is created in two cases for anonymous blocks and for the root of the crate. And in both cases it seems like the visibility of the module is actually private, like it's like not explicitly declared. Uh, but I think we and it's impossible to access this module from the outside. So I think it's like fair to use Visibility private here. Oh, that. That's interesting. So uh, the way we encode visibility is either public or private to social module where module are uh, is well, module and here we actually want to scope visibility of the module to just this module itself but we don't have its id yet i think that's like a little bit circular but nothing too bad okay so let's look at what module id is and how can we create one? How create module like this, I wonder. Okay, uh, as I said, like, uh, here the situation is like, much worse because we have a lot of users here and it's unclear uh, who actually creates those? Okay, uh, let's, let's just like, add a stupid hack and try to compile this. Okay, visibility doesn't work. Okay. Remove this for now, say that this is to do. Okay. Yep, now we see that yeah, we actually can do this 
and then the rest of the card here. So and that's gonna do this. Go to empty. Create an IDX from. Yeah, I think it's just. And what's what is block? Let's put the num here. Although that seems like it's might be wrong. Visibility should go here. And I'll actually say say uh, ID equals uh, I believe local ID is actually is actually yes uh, the, the the thing we are getting here. So let's assert that local ID is in fact equal to root ID because we have some security here. It's actually good design that there isn't an into call and you kind of like need to explicitly say that yes, I'm creating this from a raw index, uh, which might have completely break, just so that we don't do this by accident. Okay. And uh, in this case, I think we actually can have. A reasonable visibility, and yes, indeed. This is uh, what I wonder if we need here visibility or a raw visibility. Visibility, yes, vis uh, no, probably need like the difference between visibility and raw visibility is that raw visibility contains a path, while uh, proper visibility, result visibility, contains an actual module here. Uh, we already know the module here, so we need to add it. And visibility here is just this one thing. It's compiled. Now uh, let's see if actually the tests are passing. Well, I'm I'm really not sure about this, like, passing this, like, block equals none here. Because if this actually is a visibility, this, if this module actually is a module from a block, then we kind of, like, get an environment broken there because, well, it's in block, but block is not 
I don't think this like actually affects anything, so it's like nothing correct. But I, I, I really hate when the ends are broke, broken. Let's see. If there is a Seems like we have some bug here. And now I think this might actually work correctly. Changes we made here. We reduced uh, the call to a function which is potentially slow. We add visibility to module data. And we added the necessary access to the HIR module. That seems okay. So let's call it today and connect this. Let's begin with internal change which isn't visible to our users. And yeah, uh, when writing commit messages it's a good idea to actually write why are you doing these changes rather than what are you doing and that is Hilariously hard actually because uh, I always find myself that I like tend to write what I'm doing here. So I guess uh, like the reason why are we doing here is to remove that visibility of call, uh, uh, which is potentially here. So let's just write that. And now, uh, in both of us, I'll explain how we actually do that.
into it. Let's run with this one more time and submit a pull request. A second look to make sure that everything looks reasonable. And it kind of does. Let's go back to the visibility of function. So now it should have uh, a little bit less of the I guess we now have only three usages. Probably, probably some of them are going to stay. But it's important that like the core features don't actually call this repeatedly in all. Okay, I guess uh, that's it for today. I hope that uh, this time I actually managed to record the entirety of my screen. So uh, let me pause the recording and upload this video to YouTube. Bye.